Campaign. I'm Adam Arkfeld, owner of Outdoor Adventure Marketing, and today we're going to be doing about a 20-minute webinar to talk about return on investment for your paid marketing campaign. In the background, you might see if you're watching live, we have Kimberly. Say hi. We have Dustin. And we're doing a lot of live streaming today, so it would be fun. We did one Facebook Live event last week, and now we decided to kick it up a notch with a few more. So today we're going to be talking about return on investment for your, uh, your tour company and your PPC advertising, and basically marketing in general. Uh, to give you a little background about us, about us, we are Outdoor Adventure Marketing. We're a lead generation company for outdoor adventure tour companies. We started in 2009. We're located in Tempe. We have about 12 full-time in-house staff, and we drive prospects to your venture tour business with our proven method for tour-related lead generation. My name is Adam Markfeld. founded the company in 2009. I'm a digital marketer, a cold brew enthusiast. Stumptown is one of my faves, and a husband and father. So if you're watching the webinar, you can see a picture of my daughter. She's super cute, and she's on every single one. All right, let's get started. Like I said, we're going to keep this to about 20 minutes, and then we're going to have time for questions at the end. So a lot of people, when they're doing marketing or digital marketing, they're wondering, is their money being spent wisely on their digital marketing channels? So we have a number of different marketing avenues like print materials, search advertising, social, um, you know, PR, things like that. So people want to know, is their campaign working? Is it worth the investment? Is, money com is more money coming in than going out? And a lot of times they're extremely frustrated, especially in the digital space because it's a bit of an unknown. Um, in some cases, it seems like there's more revenue coming in than maybe going out, so they feel okay with that for a little while. But once spends start to increase and you start getting into maybe the three, four, five thousand dollars per month or even more, then owners want to know that they're spending their money confidently. And so they want to know their return on investment. Now getting to your return on investment is not the most complicated thing, but it is really important so that you can identify which channels are working and then cut channels that aren't and invest more money in channels that are. So the real question is, how do you know which channels are performing? You're spending money on a lot of different platforms. Um, in the outdoor adventure space, you might be running pay-per-click ads in Google AdWords, uh, perhaps Bing. You might be using Viator, uh, Yelp. You might be giving referral fees to different booking engines. And you have a number of tours coming through, but you don't know where your money is going. So is your money wasted in one area? Do you, are you actually losing money by maybe doing pay-per-click advertising? And if so, it would be incredibly helpful to know that. And then knowing which one works best allows you to then invest more money in that channel um, so that you can grow your business uh, in a profitable way. So at this webinar, we're going to talk about um, – you're going to know how to track leads in real time. Um, alternative options if you're not able to track leads in real time because in many cases you're not. Um, we're going to teach you how to calculate your ROI on a per channel basis, and we're going to just touch, touch on throughout the webinar the importance of cost per lead per person, which is a lot different than cost per lead in other industries. In other industries, you're doing cost per lead um, basically based on like contact form or phone call, but in the tour industry, you want to do a cost per lead per person because a lot of the billing is done per person. So we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about the importance of that uh, in your online advertising and we're going to help you put your metrics into action. All right, tracking your leads in real time. There are two different methods to tracking your leads, and the first one is in real time, and the second one is basically getting reporting from your digital marketing partners. So when you're tracking your leads in real time, you want to know where your leads are coming from the moment they come in so that you can put them in your database and then run reports later to determine how much revenue you're generating from those leads so that you can decide where you want to invest money. So in these graphs here, you can see uh, there are purchase leads, which is kind of like pay-per-click, LinkedIn, referral, other. So when leads come in, it's incredibly important to either ask them if it's a phone call, you know, where they're coming from, which is very obvious, but building a tracking system is even better. So if you have form submissions coming in, they might be coming in from a website, they might be coming in from a landing page. And based on – and depending on where they come in from, you might want to push those leads into your CRM or your tracking database with different source tags so that they automatically in real time start categorizing into your different channels. The same can be said for phone calls. Uh, we have a number of different webinars that we've done based on call tracking. So if, uh, if a call comes in, 
and you are um, and you answer the call and you say, hey, where would you find this? And they say Google. Everyone that's tracking leads knows that when someone says Google, that can either mean Google Organic or Google Paid, and those are totally different lead sources, and it's really important to be able to distinguish which one is different. If you use a third-party call tracking system like CallRail, you can actually change the phone number based on, uh, based on the lead source, and then you don't even ask the person where they're calling from because you'll get an email notification be able to run a report basically saying, this lead came from Google Organic or Google AdWords or a Facebook campaign or some sort of very specific campaign with a partnership with someone else. So there are a lot of different options on the call tracking side. You do not need to be asking people where they're coming from anymore with today's technology. You can simply set up your call tracking effectively, and it will basically track everything you need. All right, so that's the first thing, tracking your leads in real time. Um, if it's coming in through a form, you're going to want to push that into your CRM or database. If you're using, uh, you're getting calls for sure. So you're going to want to use a third-party tracking system that allows you to identify where they're coming from, and then putting a source field in your database that says, "Hey, these leads are coming through, and they're going right into the database, and the source is X." Uh, we use a, a system called Nutshell. I actually don't recommend it, but you know, I wanted to mention it. It works out okay, but from a uh, from a tour perspective, and a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different systems out there. I'm sorry, Thorin, that that's the one that we use. All right, so how do you track your leads in real time? I already went over a number of these options, but I'm just going to touch on them um, one more time. And there's also a, a screenshot here on the right for um, systems that are third-party booking engines like Fair Harbor. So if you're using a system like Fair Harbor, you can actually choose embed code that has an online reference ID. See here, if you're watching the webinar in the bottom right, uh, we put an OAM that allows your landing page or your um, your landing page or uh, an affiliate system or some other type of tracking your website. You can put different codes in here so that wherever someone's coming from, it pushes this online reference ID into your booking engine, and then you know, hey, I generated 17 of my 25 sales through our pay-per-click advertising, or I generated two of my 25 sales through my pay-per-click advertising. My pay-per-click advertising is therefore not doing very good if there's only two sales. So by using, um, by using the custom integrations through your third-party booking engine, by using systems like CallRail for call tracking, and using um, integrations with your landing page for form submissions. With a little bit of effort, you can basically automate the lead tracking for all of your marketing efforts into your CRM. But you do need to have a CRM that tracks by source, and you also need to have um, a few of these different systems set up. And really what you're looking at is a call tracking system, and then uh, feeding form submissions into your CRM. Those are really the main ones. And then if you have a booking engine, that one too. Now let's say that you are not able to track leads in real time. You, know, you, you don't have the, the, the bandwidth or the know-how or the effort or the budget or whatever to get all these different systems set up. There's, um, you know, it can take a little bit of time, and you need to know a little bit about technology to make that happen. If you can't track your leads in real time, you're not totally out of luck, um, but you do want to set up some basic, some basic systems to be able to pull reports on stats when you're done. So for example, this is a screenshot from CallRail. This basically says um, you know, there were 18 total calls in this time period. I think it was a few weeks. Um, these are the keywords that generated the calls, and these were all from Google Paid. So you can run a report afterwards off of your landing page, off of CallRail, off of whatever it might be, and then report on those later, and then push them into a spreadsheet that allows you to a ROI. So, we're talking about tracking leads in real time. We're talking about um, you know, integrating your lead systems into your CRM. The entire purpose of this part of the conversation when we're talking about ROI for your campaign is that in order to establish any sort of ROI, you really need to know where your leads are coming from and how many sales you're generating from those leads. That takes us into this, um, that takes us into the calculation for generating your ROI. So if you're watching me live, you're at a bit of a disadvantage because you don't have the screen in front of you. But if you're on the webinar, you're watching a recording, um, at the top we have two bullets. And the first thing is ad costs, which you already know. If you're spending money on, let's say, Google AdWords for example, you know that your budget is $1,000 per month or $2,000 per month. So your ad costs are basically, they're not fixed, but you, but you know with a high degree of certainty what they are. And secondly, 
you need to know your revenue by channel. So the conversation on the last few slides talked about how to categorize the incoming leads into different buckets based on your marketing efforts. So if you have 100 leads come in, and 25 of those are pay-per-click, those are pushed into your database as 25 pay-per-click leads. And then ideally you would associate sales or revenue with those leads that are coming in. So when you're looking at revenue by source, you have the number of sales um, by your average tour price or your actual tour price. And you just multiply those two together and you have your revenue by source. In the example, we have five sales, $600 per tour price. So your revenue for that channel is $3,000. Now you move into the return on investment. For return on investment, it's a, it's a simple calculation which is revenue minus investment over your original investment. So in the slide example that we're talking about, if your revenue is $3,000 and you spend $1,000, you made $2,000 and you divide that by your original investment of 1,000, and your ROI is 200%. Now that's prior to any expenses, and that's prior to a lot of overhead and things like that, you know, the cost of tour guides and the cost of a number of other things that, um, that are related to your tour business. However, it does give you a pretty good baseline of which channels are performing best. So if you are running a number of channels, and one's 200%, one's 500, one's 15%, then you know that you know which channels are actually generating the most revenue, and then you can take it a step further if you want to go into the actual, um, your actual bottom line ROI per channel. A good starting point I think really meets the needs for most people that are operating in the tour industry. All right, so we talked about the ROI, and now I want to touch on something that's very unique to tours, which is the, the um, cost per lead and per person ROI. So when we talk about cost per lead, and in industries outside of the tour business, you generally just talk about a cost per lead or cost per qualified lead, and it's one number, and that's easy. So if your cost per lead is $25 and your target is, um, is $35, then you're doing pretty good. So you're $10 under your target. In the tour industry, uh, all leads are not created equal. So if you're on and watching the webinar or again watching recording, we have two different scenarios here, and I'll walk through them. Um, but the, you know, the, the most important part of these scenarios as I walk through them is how many people are attending each tour because there's a cost per person. Uh, there's, a, there's a lead cost per person instead of the overall lead and the overall tour itself. So for example, if you spend $1,000 on advertising and you get 20 leads, your cost per lead is going to be $50. If there are two people per tour, which means two people per lead, that's 40 people that are interested in touring with you. And so your cost per person is $25, your cost per lead per person. That's scenario A, so $25. You have 20 leads, 2 people per lead. That's 40 people. Your cost per lead per person is $25. Let's take the exact same ad spend, $1,000, and you have 20 leads, the exact same. Your cost per lead is still $50. 20 leads times 50 is 1,000. But now four people are interested in joining every single tour. So instead of 40 people interested in the previous, now we have 80 people interested. Now with 80 people interested, your cost per lead per person is now $12.50. In the tour industry, you typically charge a person. So if your tours are ATV tours, and you charge $150 per ATV tour, or zip lining, or Segway, or anything like that. Um, you know, those are often north of $100 per tour. So your cost per lead per person is very important. A lead coming in with 10 people is not the same as a lead coming in with 2 people. So when you're doing your cost per lead analysis, make sure you think about the cost per lead per person and not just the generic cost per lead because it's only half of the conversation. So that's why you really want to focus on cost per lead per person in the tour industry. <clears throat> so how do you put this into action? We talked about tracking the source of the leads. So either A, you're doing that in real time by setting up a few different systems that allow you to feed them into your CRM. You definitely need to have a database of people where you're tracking the source. So you can do that real time, or at the end of the month, you can set up some basic call tracking and just um, do some um, you know, form submission exports to get an idea of how many leads came in. And you can do it at the end of the month through reporting. So that's option two. Less real time, but also works. When you get those metrics, now you just need to throw them into a very basic spreadsheet and just do this once a month. So on the screen, there's a, there's a, there's a simple sample of a investment spreadsheet, $2,500 in ad spend, 50 leads, cost per lead is $50, your revenue, $37.50, and your return on investment is 50%. 
as you do this, even if it's not perfect, as you move through the different months, you're going to see your cost per lead and which channels are performing best over three, four, five, six months. And it will really help you identify in a simple way what's working and what's not working. This is literally a Google Sheet. It's not that complicated. The math is pretty simple. You can go back two slides to get the equations. Uh, you just do ad spend, leads, revenue, and then calculate ROI. Keep it very basic. Once you're good with the basic stuff, then you can expand on it and make it a little bit more complicated when you're comfortable. But we always advocate to start really, really simple. And don't go too deep too fast. All right. That sums up the why it's important to know your ROI and how to calculate it. So the important part about this entire concept is you want to know which channels are generating a strong ROI for you. Is your marketing campaign worth, worth the investment? Are these channels worth the investment? If you have capacity in one channel, do you, um, you, know, do you kill your booking engine referrals and put it all into AdWords or vice versa, whatever the case may be? Or are you actually losing money in certain channels, which can certainly be the case, uh, which would be a little bit uh, brutal if you realize that. And, but in that case, knowledge is power, and you can kill that channel, and then you go back to uh, profitability with your other lead channels. So track your leads in real time. If you can't track them in real time, at least run reports and have some basic tracking in place. You need to have a database that holds your leads and has the source of those leads. And then you can associate revenue with them and report on that later. That's really important. If you're not doing some basic tracking, you're out of luck as it relates to, um, um, as it relates to calculating your ROI. And use those metrics to then create a plan of action moving forward. That's all we have for today. Next week we're going we're gonna to provide an introduction to marketing automation systems, systems like HubSpot and Infusionsoft and that sort of thing. We're probably going to talk about HubSpot most because we work with them quite a bit. And again, we are outdoor venture marketing. We specialize in lead generation for outdoor venture companies like ATV tours, snowmobiling, zip lining, skydiving, hot air balloons, jet skis. Basically, if you're going on vacation and you're going on a cool tour, we market to those companies that do the tours, or if you run a cool tour. All right, uh, feel free to give us a call, results at OutdoorVentureMarketing.com if you'd like to learn more, and our phone number is there on the screen. And thank you all for joining us. This has been a pleasant experience. And for those of you watching the webinar, we have some serious live broadcasting going on, and it's pretty intense. We'll post pictures on our social because it looks pretty cool from behind the scenes. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week.